Hey, welcome back again. Another common question I get all the time is people will say to me, you know, I don't get it. I used to eat a thousand calories and exercise all the time or whatever, and I'd lose weight. I knew exactly what I had to do, and it worked really simple. And I find a lot of women, especially, will come in these days and go, you know, I don't get it. I do the same thing, it doesn't seem to work. And what do we tend to blame that on? I mean, this is what we hear all the time, right? My metabolism is slowing down. I would say that, yes, the metabolism can slow down a bit, but I don't think it slows down quite as much as we'd like to give the credit to that for. Um, there's a lot of factors that will cause someone to not be able to lose weight, and that's really the key to the whole thing. We always think that if I just eat less calories and I do more exercise, that's going to solve the problem. But the reality is there's a lot of factors at work here. For one, one for instance, is what's your gut health like? Most people don't realize that just the bacteria in your gut will determine to a great extent whether you're in fat burning or fat storage mode. A lot of times people will have um, candida or yeast in their system and that'll completely derail uh, any kind of weight loss program. How about um, stress, just mental stress? Now while we can't change the stressors that happen to us, we can absolutely change how your brain deals with those. And we have some really awesome programs in the office that help just get the brain de-stressed so that your body is not producing cortisol. Because if you're stressed and producing cortisol, what happens? Well, now you're in fat storage mode because cortisol is a powerful fat storage hormone. Then you got things like just pain, right? If you're like one of those people like, yeah, I just carry my tension, my stress up in my neck. Well, if you're in chronic pain, even if it doesn't seem like a lot of pain, you'll also secrete cortisol, which is, again is a fat storage hormone. There's so many other things. That's why at the office what we do is an assessment. We try to figure out, well, what's the cause? Hormones play a gigantic role in all this. So do toxins in the environment. You might have grown up somewhere where you're um, exposed to more toxins, maybe rounds of antibiotics as a kid. All these things are, can have some bearing on whether it's easy to lose weight or it's very difficult. So one of the things we do in the office is an assessment that really helps us pinpoint what area do we need to focus. Is it thyroid health? Is it adrenals that are fatigued? By knowing specifically what's going on in the body, we can sort of customize a game plan. And that makes all the difference in the world. Because so many people bang their head against the wall going, I used to do this and it worked, and now this doesn't, so they get frustrated and give up. But there's no reason to give up. You just have to figure out exactly what's going on and then address that problem in and of itself. Thanks.